Good morning. I want to introduce a new software in its initial version, 1.0, where I wanted to unify the three tools we have been using to make our statistics based on the coverage value. These three tools are the hair counter and graph counter created by Dr. Koray Erdogan and the coverage value Excel table developed by both. We introduced these tools in the WFI workshops in Tenerife and Athens, but perhaps the complexity of using different apps not coordinated among them made it difficult its understanding and use among our colleagues. I hope that having all programs into a single application will facilitate its use and spread. The hair counter is an application that gives us pre-op information about hairs and follicular units per square centimeters and percentage of singles, twos, threes and so per square centimeters in random samples taken from the temporal, parietal and occipital areas. The graph counter is an application that informs us about the total number of grafts extracted, the average hairs per graft and the breakdown of singles, twos, threes and so. The coverage value Excel table gives us a broad numerical information of the quality of the donor area in the pre-op, the estimated management of the donor area after extraction, the density and number of graphs estimated to cover a given recipient area, and the final coverage value of that recipient area after the placement of the graft. To install the application, double-click on the file coverage setup, both in Windows or Apple, and will run the program. Once recorded in your program files, you can open clicking the file coverage. The first time, the program will ask you for a key that will be provided requesting it to my email. After that, the program will open automatically. Let's start to use the application. So, when we get a new patient, we click in the New Patient tab. We put the name and the age. Click OK and the patient file is made. We click on Donor and in the caliber box we put the thickness of the hair in millimeters and the area of temporal, parietal and occipital zone. All the white sections are what we fill out. The blue is what the application does by itself. So, we go out over this and goes on her counter tab. Prior to open the image, you need to upload the photograph we took with the dorma light in the different donor areas. Here is the temporal, then the parietal, and last, occipital. When we click on the letter, we open the hair counter, where we can count the hairs. So we have the singles, twos, threes, fours, and so on. You can use the magnifying window to augment the area and facilitate the site. And if you make a mistake, you can delete clicking here and add up again, changing the button. When we finish counting the whole area, we go out and here we have the numbers of follicular units and hairs per square centimeters and the hairs per follicular units. We close the tab and go back on donor and everything is filled out for you automatically by the application. Information about density, hair per square centimeter, coverage value, hairs per area, follicular unit per area, hair per follicular unit, the total donor area, average hair per follicular unit, average caliber, total donor hairs and total donor follicular units in the safe area. If we see below in the donor evaluation compartment, if we want to lower the currently donor capacity to a 5.4 coverage value that we know is the minimum value to cover the skin, we will have information about the graft that can be extracted from temporal, parietal and occipital areas, as well as the total donor capacity, total donor percentage and total donor hairs that can be extracted from that single patient in all his life. But if you want, you can change that donor 
the suitable coverage value to six or seven, and the numbers will change. When we finish the procedure, you have to fill up this box with the number of hairs, so singles, twos, threes, four, fives, and six in the different areas, temporal, parietal, and occipital, same as we do with the graph counter up. And we will have information about the graphs and hair extracted, hair per graft, total graft extracted, and the estimated post coverage value of those different areas after the harvest. The clue is never go below 5.4 to avoid depletion. In the picture, we have a summary of the most important numbers. Next, go to the recipient tab and fill out the box of the estimated breast surgery recipient area, frontal and or crown, and the application will give you the number of grafts needed to cover that given area with a minimum 5.4 coverage value. If you change the coverage value, the numbers will change again. But because you don't have always the right number of grafts, you can figure out your estimated coverage value filling out the estimated density, I mean the graft we extracted divided by the area we must to cover. As far as we augment that density, the pre-recipient coverage value will also increase. You will always get an idea of the final coverage you will have. At the end, in the last compartment, we need to distinguish the grafts placed in the frontal and or crown areas the total hair graft rate extracted, and we measure again the recipient areas in order to be accurate, and the real density after 24 hours when the patient claims for the washing at the next day. With those data, we will have the estimated and real recipient coverage value. Summary, again on the picture. When we finish the patient altogether and everything is filled out on the application, we can make a report of donor, recipient, graphs, or whatever you need. We can do it by printing or making a PDF to save or send it by email. Your patient will be in the database and you can rescue whenever you want. Hope you enjoy it. Thank you very much.